Welcome to the virtual visit of the Albert Kellert Museum of Anatomy. The museum serves the anatomy teaching. The collection presented here has been created by Professor Albert Gellert, who led the department since 1934 and his co-workers throughout several decades. The collection, which is unique throughout Europe, is based upon serious traditions. Professor Leo Davida, chairman of the University of Kolosvar, has developed the technology by the end of the 19th century which enabled the presentation of the anatomical specimens suitable for presentation for long times. Professor Davida's world's famous specimens were exhibited in 1900 on the Paris World Expo, where his work has been acknowledged with a silver medal. At that time, the technical possibilities did not allow the preservation of the dry anatomical preparations to an extent which would be able to warrant the long lifetime of the specimens without considerable shrinkage and deformation. Therefore, a new method was needed, which is able to preserve the finest prepared details for decades and display the beautiful organization of the human body without any changes. Professor Albert Gallert found the solution for this problem in the adaptation of the modern histological techniques to the large-scale human body specimens, and thus the larger organs, extremities, or body parts could be embedded into paraffin. The essence of the embedding the larger anatomical structures into paraffin is that following tissue fixation and preparation of the fine structural elements, the water was removed from the tissues and then it became possible to infiltrate the specimens with paraffin. When the paraffin solidified, the various structures could be colored and the integrity of the specimens was protected by a fine layer of varnish. In contrast to the earlier trials, this technique displays the fine vascular and nervous structures particularly well and this led to its outstanding success. The new technique made the preservation of the specimens possible in their unchanged form for nearly infinite time, in a way that they maintained their true form and color. Due to the later developments in the Institute, it could be achieved that even larger torsos were produced with this method. The different internal organs fine vascular and nervous structures could be presented independently with this technique. One excellent example out of these is the bronchial tree. Professor Albert Gellert led the institute for the longest time. During his 34 years as head of the institute, he conducted impressive research on the field of neuroscience. The invaluable collection he added to the Anatomical Museum stands as his worthy legacy and commemorates his outstanding career.